Okay, it's Maddie. Hi. Hold on. Yep, it's Maddie. This is working, of course. Emmy, and we're going to uh, come out here and pick some corn. Uh, some of it has gone a little further than it should, and the bugs ate it. So we're going to pick some here and on the side of the house. But before we do, um, I've counted about 10 watermelons out here now. So there's one, there's one, there's one down there, there's one back in there. Let's see, got one there, got one there, hard to see, but it's there. Got a big giant uh, moon and stars one right here, you can see the little speckles. Um, there's some more over there on the other side, and uh, let's see, let's uh, let's just go over here and do the corn. Well, while Maddie's getting ready for the corn, there's, there's another little watermelon over there. Okay, all right. And uh, there's Maddie's tomato plant. She must see some tomatoes down there that are... They're, they're red. Okay. Well, I picked a whole bunch last night and uh, made some canned tomatoes, and a few nights before that I made spaghetti sauce. So um, I, am, I imagine by the end of this coming week we'll probably have enough to do something else with. Oh, and something else I found while I was looking at the corn the other day. Here's a, another watermelon that just kind of ended up in there. Pretty good size. So that's one of the ten. So uh, Maddie's going to snap the corn off here. We've had some weird ones that uh, are just little tiny right next to some bigger shoots here. And if you open them up, the corn is maybe uh, you know that tall, the corn cob. And it's kind of like the little baby corn you get at uh, Chinese restaurants. That's pretty good though. Um, I'll just have her go through here and pick some of that. Now this back row here with the kind of purplish stalks, anything behind this is popcorn. So we want to keep that on there until it just dries out. Until it turns brown. And why don't you give me one of those that you're picking there and uh, we'll open up, we'll just kind of open it up and see what it looks like. Yeah, the big one. You want to pick the big one of that one. There you go. And uh, here we'll just uh, just kind of see how far along this is. Some of them have been, you know, you open them up and the silks are just green. So I know this one's not going to be quite ready, but it'll be very close. Mm. Oh yeah. Look. This one's edible. It'll be edible at least. Here's a piece of corn that fell off. You can see some of them are yellow, some of them are white, and then a couple of them here are starting to turn the purple color. So. Um, it'd be nice if these others had filled out. Uh, they probably weren't going to completely. Um, this tastes a little starchy, so it probably did go a little bit longer than it should have. But uh, all in all, I think uh, you know, I've got a couple of options here. We can cook this up as just corn on the cob, or we can cut the corn off. And uh, since I've been doing some canning lately, we could probably just uh, can a whole bunch of sweet corn, which uh, I might do that. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and pick some more here. Of uh, course, we'll pick all of this up later and put it in the compost pile. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can get both of those. And it, yeah, yeah, look up, look in here. Um, what I was going to do is after we picked all the corn off of this, I was going to chop down these corn stalks, just uh, maybe it, leave them about a foot tall, uh, because uh, the watermelons down there are kind of going up the vine, uh, up the stalks. But they're a lot taller than I thought they were, so I'm probably just going to leave the stalks and uh, let them grow a little bit more, and uh, come out here when the watermelon is ready to pick, and then just chop them down and put them in the compost pile. Okay, yeah. There you go, Maddie. 
<laughs> okay, twi you might twist it a little bit more there if it's not snapping off the way you want it to. There, I'll put this in there in the bag. And we're in between thunderstorms right now, so I thought it would be a pretty good time to, to come out. That's a good one. Go ahead and take the leaves off. Okay, here's the big, uh, the next biggest sunflower that's almost ready. And uh, it was about eight feet tall. It's probably about seven feet tall now, just because it's uh, getting so heavy with the sunflower seeds. Hi, Sam. And uh, let me just show you, just as an update, there's that one over the roof, and you can see the flower head has started. That's what those spikes were. But it's a good foot or a foot and a half over the roof. Um, I measured it three days ago and it was ten and a half feet so I would say it's probably about eleven feet now. I'm not gonna get up to the twelve feet that uh, the others on the package uh, were but yeah it's pretty close. Okay yeah go ahead and you can pick some of these. I would say anything that looks really big go ahead or anything that mm -hmm. that maybe not yet because the tasks, the silks aren't dried out. But anything that's big like that, or that has dried out silks that are kind of a brownish color, like over here, I would say this one is pretty much ready. There you go. Here's, yeah, this one, definitely, we'll definitely get that one. Let me have that one. Whoa. <laughs> Just to do another check, see how it's going. Okay. This one, let me see here. I think this one's it feels kind of the same. It's really full on quite a few points. And there are some that aren't. Let's see. That's better. Ooh. That is better. Um, you can see the different colors there. Boy. But some areas that just hadn't filled out yet. That's okay. You know, we're doing good. Um, we got a good 90%. So, yeah, that's good. Um, hopefully the rest of them are like this, too.